everyone, welcome to Winnie Student World. My name is Winnie. I know it has been a while. I know, I know, I know. I'm so sorry for my long break. I actually didn't intend for it to be that long, but I'm going to tell you all about what I've been up to and just give you some tips about what I've been doing to stay afloat. So don't go anywhere. Hey, this is my testimony. My testimony. Welcome back. So what have I been up to? Okay, so when I posted that update that I was going to take a few weeks to you know put together new things for the blog, that was exactly what I wanted to do. But the other side to it is I told you early this year that I started a job as an assistant professor and that got really, really intense. And so my research kicked off. Um, I also started working on a grant. I've been working on publications and just kind of getting settled into my role and that took a lot of my time and granted I needed to give it that focus because this is my first year in a career so ladies gentlemen you know what it feels like when you start a new job and you're trying to really get the ground settled and set for the good work you want to do so that's really what I've been up to this past few weeks that I haven't blogged or said anything or even cooked but I am trying it's been busy and I just wanted to share some things about what I've been doing with myself because you know how you have all these big dreams and then things just get intense and you feel like you're not accomplishing everything you want to accomplish or you feel like you're slacking in some areas which in my case my blog but you know <laughs> you just feel like things are not going the way you want to so these are three things that have, have, have been helping me so number one is cut yourself some slack so yes big dreams, ambition, want to change the world. I know, I feel the same way, but you also have to realize that you're one person and that every phase of your life has different challenges and things that, you know, sometimes you might not know how you're gonna deal with them. Sometimes you just need to figure it out. And so cut yourself some slack, you know. It's okay to not do everything you want to do when you want to do them. It's okay to you know just perform below what you think you know you're going to do it's just okay relax don't be too hard on yourself so i have been trying my best not to be hard on myself and i've also reminded myself over and over again that i'm doing good work it might take a while for some areas of my life to catch up but i am doing great and i'm sure you are too number two find people that you can be accountable to i am so grateful for Two of my girlfriends in particular, they are my accountability sisters and they keep me in check. So they give me a safe place to fall apart, to you know, whine and say, I'm not doing all I'm supposed to do, I feel like I'm failing, I feel like I'm you know going crazy. They give me that safe place, they also kick my butt. They also tell me, you know what, you have to work out, you have to do this, you promise to do this, these goals, you set them, you have to achieve them, and also they just help me with emotional support when I need it and I think everybody needs a friend or a group of friends or a family member that will serve as a friend for you to be accountable to in your career and the goals that you set for yourself because we are not meant to be islands we need people so if you don't have somebody already I suggest that you identify one person or people and be accountable to them in your career goals Number three, don't give up. You know, when things don't go the way you want them to go, when you feel like you're underperforming, when you feel like you are dropping the ball a lot, when you have those dreams that you haven't quite got into, just don't give up. Definitely, I haven't given up on my blog. That's why I'm back here with this video. But those three things have really helped me stay grounded over the next few weeks. And so I'm recommending them to you. If you knew them before now, apply them. If you didn't, well, you learned something from me today. So, what's next? I will gradually kick back posting. It won't be as frequent as I posted before. Just because of what I've explained to you, I just have a lot going on at work and I'm trying to really level and stabilize myself. But gradually, I'm going to get back into the groove of things. So expect to see more from me moving forward even if it's just a little bit of week you know one post here and there just let you know that i'm alive 
creating good content for you and i'm so happy you just came to check me out today and i hope to see you very soon until we chat again i'm your girl wings i the truth also in the name of jesus